How's it going, everybody? So, welcome to AM2R, also known as Another Metroid 2 Remake. So, uh, yeah. I did say I was going to go record Metroid Prime next, but, uh, I ran into some technical difficulties, so in the meantime, rather than just, I uh, guess, wait until I actually, um, get all the technical difficulties sorted out, um... Oops, oops, not keyboard. Um, yeah, until I get all those difficulties taken care of, uh, I am going to, uh, I guess, be recording this one. Just want to take a quick look at the controls, because if you could not tell... Uh, oh, also, I have played this game before. It was a couple years ago, but I have played this before. So, uh, yeah, if you can't tell, this game is not an official Nintendo game. Uh, oh, got a little intro thing. Metroids, numerous incidents in the past have brought to light the highly destructive power of these life forms, spreading fear across all known planetary systems. Hoping to secure peace in the galaxy, the Galactic Federation orders the extermination of the Metroid species. I was the best candidate for the job. Once again, I find myself standing alone against the Metroid menace. What horrors await me within the depths of their homeworld? And there we are. So yeah, this game is actually a fan-made game. Um, again, if if you could gather that little detail from the uh, another Metroid 2 remake title, um, yeah. Now, that being said, this is a damn good re uh, fan-made thing, like, don't get me wrong, uh, I didn't have all the experience going into it with other Metroid games uh, that I'll have now, but uh, just from what I remember, uh, this game actually controls incredibly well, the music is amazing in this, oh god, little frog dude. Actually, he is almost perfectly covered by my uh, microphone stand. Um, let me actually adjust that real quick so I can see the screen better. Okay. Now I can actually see the screen better. It was really just kind of this bottom corner down there that uh, I was was slightly covered up. But, uh, yeah. This is actually something that playing through... Um, Zero Mission, I constantly had that as well. And I kept meaning to fix it, I just kind of didn't, so... Yeah. Um, left or right? Let's go left. Um, so yeah, I was gonna record Metroid Prime, but, uh... Well, basically, I started recording, like, the first little... I guess, episode, or... First little bit of it. And, uh, my Wii actually died. Like, it just stopped working altogether. I think it just finally killed over, which that Wii had a lot of use. Like, a few years of, like, daily, um, how do I stand? There I go. Um, quite a few years of almost daily Super Smash Brothers on it, which I remember there was issues with that game for a lot of people where it would just kind of brick their system. Um, my Wii never actually had that issue. However, it did definitely, uh, kind of push it to its limits, so, yeah, it was only a matter of time before it died. I actually ended up, um, well, th uh, this was, like, years ago, but I ended up actually having to borrow, um, my sister's Wii, um, to, uh, well, really even play, which, since we lived together at the time, it wasn't that big of a deal, but I'm not just gonna go take her Wii so I can, uh, record a series for however long. Oh god, Metroid, okay, okay, we're, uh, new log. Alpha Metroid, the Alpha Metroid has gained immunity to cold temperatures. The loss of several, uh, nuclei within its green membrane has left it vulnerable to concussive weaponry. Uh, plated exoskeleton, uh, yeah, a plex- a, 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 a plated exoskeleton partially covers it. This organism emerges from the molting, uh, of its larval form. 
Though aggressive, it is well, uh, relatively weak at this stage, and its new appendages have yet to grow to their full length and strength. Okay, that's good to know. So, don't let them... Oh, hang on. I actually just got you in a nice little death loop. All right. One down. Uh, 54 to go. <laughs> so that is another cool little detail with this game, is uh, it sh down in that bottom right corner, it shows you how many Metroids are in the area and how many Metroids total you have left to kill. And then it also shows you your time so you don't have to keep exiting to the menu and hey, lava's moving. Cool. Oh, and then another thing with this game is uh, uh, I, I brought them up earlier. I, I wasn't so much uh, concerned with playing around with them, but you can actually map your own uh, controls to a controller or a keyboard or, you know, whatever the hell you feel. Um, Wait, oh crap, I just hit default. Was it only for that? Okay, yeah, it was only for that. Um, I know just screwing around in menus and control schemes isn't the most entertaining thing, but uh, new log entry. Um, the massive cave system is located between two tectonic plates, largely flooded by extremely dense and caustic substance material to magma. Wait, substance material, su uh, substance similar to magma. Uh, the recent earthquake has altered the cave layout and the hazardous substance has drained to lower levels. The cause of earthquake is unknown. Uh, initial orbital scans of SR388 detect no instability within this region. Oh, and that is another cool thing is you have like, so uh, I guess I could have read this at the very beginning, but uh, mission briefing. Objective, uh, primary objective, exterminate all Metroid organisms on planet SR388. Secondary objectives, locate and bring assistance to the Galactic Federation research and rescue teams. And then we have all of these other, like, planet SR388. Um, I I'm not going to read all of these, but uh, if you want to read that, well, I guess pause it, check that out. Um, I would say download this game for yourself and play it, but I don't think you can actually download it anymore, because it, uh, um, it might be slightly a long story, but, uh, when I first heard of this game, I, I, I kind of had a goofy feeling it was going to get taken down really quick, partially just because, uh, Nintendo was just about to release their actual, I guess, uh, what was it, um, Samus Returns? They're basically their own official remake of Metroid 2, which they did. And it was like literally within like a couple months of the release of this. So they ended up actually uh, basically sending a cease and desist. And these guys had to take down like all the download links and stop working on it and stuff. Um, that being said, I'm sure there are still some torrents and stuff out there that you would have to dig down deeper. I know that there's a, uh, a subreddit dedicated to this game. Um, might be able to find something, a little lead or something there if you're really interested in playing this. Which I'd highly recommend. It's actually a very, very well put together game. I'd argue it's easily on par with um, Super Metroid as far as like its control scheme and just how well it feels, just in general. Also, the music is amazing. That is also something I, uh, if I kind of just stop talking mid-sentence or, uh, oh, I can go down here. Um, I want to look up here real quick before I go down. Oh, never mind. <laughs> There's literally nothing. But yeah, if I kind of just cut myself off mid-sentence or kind of just suddenly get quiet, it's probably because I'm just getting absorbed into the music. They did an amazing job with the music in this. Um, so yeah. And also the nice thing is hopefully um, I won't have to turn the music suit or the game audio down ridiculously to avoid copyright because, uh, well, it's a fan game. That being said, I might, it might still get flagged since it's probably mostly based off of uh, existing copyrighted music, but uh, hopefully I won't have that issue. Because I got, none of the videos got taken down luckily, but almost every uh, video of Super Metroid and uh, 
Uh, what's it called? Um, Zero Mission. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission. Um, almost every single one of those got uh, flagged for some sort of copyright thing, all due to the, uh, just the music. So, hopefully I won't have that issue. Again, luckily, none of them got taken down. But, uh, yeah, that's just a thing that I have to deal with. You guys probably won't notice anything, to be honest, unless they get taken down. But, uh, that's just a thing I have to personally be mindful of. <sighs> but the music is... It, it, don't get me wrong. The music alone, like, I could l probably listen to it for just hours. But at the same time, it's not only just nice to listen to, it provides a very nice atmospheric kind of feel. Uh, just to the levels and stuff, if that makes any sense. Um, I didn't mean to actually drop down here. Uh, you know what? I'm down here. Let's go check over here real quick. Ooh, a save. Might as well do that. And I do have to remember that in this game, uh, just like, uh, Metroid, uh, I keep forgetting what it's called, uh, Zero Mission, um, the saves do heal you. So... I'm gonna have to go back to that other room at some point. So just gotta keep that in mind. The moment I get bombs, I will, uh... Well, maybe not the moment I get bombs, but... I'll just have to keep in mind that I can go down there after, uh, I get those. Uh, is there anything up here? This looks like something they'd hide stuff in. Guess not. Oh, god, more of these rooms. Uh, and by more of these rooms, I just mean the rooms that have these guys that just infinitely come out of the pipes. So, uh, actually, am I safe here? Because I just want to point out, like... Okay, so this is kind of what I meant. Um, note for me, uh, turn the music up in this area, because this is what I mean by the whole atmospheric thing. It's just like this creepy, dull roaring. And then... You just hear these noises kind of in the distance. Like that dripping, the... Occasionally you kind of hear like... It sounds like something growls. That's what I mean by it has a very nice kind of ambient... Uh, feel to it. New log entry, the Golden Temple. This temple stands at the base of a hollow mountain. The statues carved... Uh, oh, the statues carved stone and solid design uh, attest that the structure was built to be a sanctuary. Probably with religious significance. The temple has withstood te the tests of time, showing the building, knowledge, and experience of the Chozo. Scans detect the presence of stationary robotic entities placed at strategic points inside the structure. No control signals are detected. These units are operating anonymous. Uh, a ton uh, uh, whatever that word is. <laughs> uh, I know the word. I don't know why. For some reason, just... Well... I have, okay, I I, sh I shouldn't say I don't know why. I don't know, my choices of words are, I, I was about to say I don't know why after saying I don't know why. Um, anyway, um, so for whatever reason, just reading these things, um, more so today than other days really, but um, my brain just wants to kind of merge words as it sees it, rather than finish the previous word and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. However, that also being said, I do actually have a bit of a cold, so... Um, that's probably not helping too much. Um, oh! These must be the robot things. Oop, wrong button. Nope. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. There we go. These guys are dropping missiles, so I might as well be a little missile happy over here. It's kind of a bit of a habit I generally have, is I, I get very, very... Oh, hey, bombs! I can go back in that other... Oh, it actually cuts off that music. That sucks. Um, the next power-up I get, I'll... Speak of the devil? Um, I was gonna say, next, uh, little upgrade music I get, I just wanna, I just wanna hear it. That looks like something. Ah, it is. I should've figured there'd probably be a quick way, uh, back. 
requiring the uh, the power up I just got. Okay, so we've got that, and uh, I'm actually gonna hit up the save point up here because uh, I'm gonna end this part here. Been going for a little bit, but yeah. <sighs> I'll see you guys next time.